All right, it's September 12, 2022, and the hunt for the Agincourt begins. It is a new in-game event, and you get the British Tier 3 Premium Battleship Agincourt and more in-game items. Simply log in daily and complete the assignments, and it will be available from now, September 12, through October 3. So let's go in and check it out. All right, hunting for the Agincourt ends in 20 days. Click on the square button to open the calendar. And here we go. Here is hunting for Agincourt. And wow, there are a lot of uh, warnings here about the Agincourt. There are a lot of notices. A very special event awaits you. Log in every day for three weeks. Uh, complete small tasks to get in game goods from camos to commander progression items. And the ultimate prize is the battleship Agincourt. All right, it is a premium battleship. So let's open the calendar and see what it's uh, all about. All right, so here, week one. You play one battle in uh, AI or standard, you win a battle. And in two battles, make it to the top four in your team by XP received. This is a, a daily deal, it looks like. And you can check that off. I believe what they said in the patch notes is each of these items that you're not able to complete uh, if you miss a day, it will uh, take 250 doubloons to uh, go through this and boost through, as it were. All right, well, anyway, here is the calendar. Uh, it looks like if you complete, um, you know, play a battle, earn 3,000 XP, so shoot down 10 aircraft. So every day, it looks like it is going to be a different deal for tomorrow. Play a battle, earn 2,000 XP before bonuses, and destroy four ships. And then the next day... All right, so it's all slightly different items every day that you have to complete. And if you do this for the first week, you will get a commander crate, a random commander crate. And then you get an insignia, which is, uh, that is very uh, valuable. And then you get the British Commander Crate after week three. And then the final prize is the Agincourt. And, okay, just mod one, uh, tier three premium ship, Agincourt. And loadout, okay, it looks all pretty normal here. Stats, let's check out the Reach stats. out to 13.7 kilometers. They reload 36 seconds with a turn time of 45. So you may have a problem with either a reload or traverse time. Maybe you can do something about that in the upgrade slot. To traverse so. time, but main battery reload takes a hit at 5%. So you're going to have an even slower time, but it just... So, okay, maneuverability, 21 knots. Uh, I guess kind of average for Tier 3. And, okay, so the armor on the uh, Citadel. So watch it. Uh, if you're going broadside against anybody or even bow tanking, you don't really have much protection here. And let's do the uh, overview. And Guns aplenty. The Agincourt is a one-of-a-kind dreadnought battleship built to order for Brazil, but later repurchased by the government of the Ottoman Empire. Well, that's it for the hunt for the Agincourt calendar. It ends in 20 days. Each day you have to do a different type of task. And once you complete the seven tasks for the seven days, you will get these main prizes with the final prize after three weeks of the Agincourt. This is the Jaguar, and I'll see you on the high seas. Thanks for watching. Hit subscribe if you like it. Let's see if we can get some hits. And all right, well, we got a uh, few hits, no citadels. And here's this Firotaka, which is getting kind of close. And okay, we are starting to get nailed here. I didn't check to see whether we have a super heal. I basically uh, set the ship right up after looking at the calendar. And all right, big time miss for Nefiro Taka. So let's see if this guy is in big trouble with these 14 guns. And he gets wiped out with four citadels. That is awesome. Look out for the Agincourt because it is going to come and get you.